Alright, now, for those of you familiar with 1917's work, I said that this video would be about this. This book, Would You Rather, The Ultimate Challenge. Now, I actually underestimated how much shit there is in this book, because there's a lot of crap, there's a lot of content in this book. It's, it's over 200 pages worth of stuff. And, well, I didn't really take a look at it too much um, before I made the, my last video. So, uh, it's had a little, a little, a lot of, bleh, a lot of content in it. So, I'm going to give this book a little rest. It'll come soon. Uh, I know I said I, it would come soon in my last video, but that video, I... I was stupid like always. So instead of that, the reason Kenny is not here is because he's always here. That fucking douchebag is always here. It's time for me now. Time for Ranchy 17 because, let's be honest, it's been a while. I think it's been since January. And well, some of you aren't going to like this when I, uh, what I'm about to say, but um, there's not going to be a video uh, for, uh, for a little while. Okay? Now what I, what I mean by that is because of Due to an insufficient amount of feedback, I have decided to cut down on the amount of videos I produce because if, I, if I'm producing like 10 videos, like you know, like if I'm producing like 10 videos every three months and I'm getting no feedback on them, then what's the purpose of making them so often? So therefore, in order f in order to get a new video out like every two three weeks, you guys got to comment more, right? But anyway. There's a burning question in the gaming community in regards to which game to get. Now, obviously, you already know since the title's up there. The debate, the discussion to get either Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare or Call of Duty World at War. If you hear kids outside, there's kids playing outside. What the fuck can I do about that? You just scream out the window, get the fuck out of here, I'm trying to film a goddamn video. I'll be arrested. So. That's out of the fucking question. <clears throat> so therefore, I am just gathering up questions at the top of my head, and then the answer is which game you'll get. So, and a lot of friends have been asking me this um, personally, so I just figured, you know, what the hell, I'll just make a video describing to the world what I think you should get. Call of Duty World at War or Call of Duty 4 Modern Fucking Warfare. So let's get right to it. I'm coming up with these questions at the top of my head, by the way. Okay, so don't think I have a script or anything, right? So, all right. So let's let's ask a question. Are you playing the game for online play? Either will do. Both games have like the same exact um, uh, game types, like a free for all, headquarters, team deathmatch, fucking kids. Um, no, that's not an actual gameplay of fucking kids, because that would be kind of gross. Um, there's Free For All, there's Headquarters, there's Search and Destroy, Parkour Search and Destroy, you know, the whole shebang. So, either game will do for online play. Now, let's ask some more questions. <clears throat> Alright, so, are you wanting to play the game for a longer campaign mode? World at War is your best bet. I've played both games, I've beaten both games, and I could say that the campaign mode in World at War is more enjoyable, and it's also longer than the one Modern Warfare. Plus, with World at War, uh, you could play two-player campaign mode. Although the thing about that is, well, <coughs> while, you, while you can play two-player campaign mode in World at War, you also have to beat the level before you can actually play this. So let's say you just right, right off the bat go into two-player mode and like beat, like say, Five stages. You turn the game off, and then you go, you go back, and then the data's gone. That's because you didn't get there in single-player campaign. Well, fucking kids. Um, so yeah, you have to beat the level in single-player mode in order to get to the multiplayer game mode. I'm sorry if that's fucking shit has really distracted the fucking kid. Uh, anyway, okay. Do you want to play with a flamethrower, like 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 a weapon that like spews fire out to burn people alive? You like that kind of shit? Are you an arsonist? Call of Duty World at War has a flamethrower in it. That was that was actually one of the selling points of this game, the fact that it had a flamethrower. Fucking dead! Ugh. The fact that it had a flamethrower was a big selling point. So if you want a flamethrower, get World at War. Are you into the game for trophies? You want trophies? You want trophies? Oh, you want trophies? You want trophies? Get World at War. Now, I don't have an Xbox 360, 
I don't have an X uh, I have an Xbox, but I don't have a 360. And I know Modern Warfare came out for the Xbox 360, and I think they had trophies. But if you're a PS3 gamer like myself, World at War. This game, PS3 version, obviously, does not have trophies. So if, if you're a PS3 gamer and you want trophies, World at War, Call of Duty. That's backwards. Call of Duty World at War. My bad. Do you want a game that will stay enjoyable even though you're kind of bored of the single player campaign mode, kind of bored of the two player campaign mode, kind of bored of online play, you just want to play offline with friends and, and have a good time without the campaign mode? Call of Duty World of War. This is a game mode called Nazi Zombies. It's pretty addicting. Now, do you want better guns? Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare obviously has better guns because this game took place in World War II. This game takes place in modern, hence the name Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, it has guns like the MP5, um, M4 Carbine, P90, uh, Mini Uzi, uh, AK-47, AK-47U, um, you know, the whole, I don't want to use this word again, but I guess I have to, the whole shebang. Uh, compared with World of War, which has old guns, such as the, um, the it's, it's got the fucking kids. It's got, it's, it, it doesn't have fucking kids in the game. Uh, it has the Type 100, it has <coughs> the uh, STG-44, it's got the, um, the Gower, it's got the SVT, uh, what else does it have? Uh, it's got the PPSH, um, it's got, uh, the Bar fucking kids. Annoying fucks. Um, anyway, so yeah, if you want better guns, Modern Warfare is what I would suggest you get. Although, I do like World at War more than Modern Warfare. Now, let's see. This is a, this is often a very big question. Do you want a game that does not have big maps? Modern Warfare. The maps in this game are fucking huge. Let's see. I'm going to name some maps off the top of my head, which are pretty goddamn big maps. Um, Downfall. Silo. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing some of these names wrong, which in this case, I don't give a right test if I am or not. CeeLo, Downfall, uh, Cliffside's pretty big. Uh, I don't remember. But yeah, if you want smaller maps, then you gotta go with Modern Warfare, because the maps in this game are pretty goddamn big. And, um... There's no end on this, it's pretty fucking big. Alright, so. Uh, you know, I, I was gonna do a video like this before, but I decided to cancel it, and now that I'm actually doing it, I, I'm fucking forgetting all the fucking questions that I made to ask the people, you know, what game they would prefer. Son of a fucking bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a fucking. Son of a bitch. Fuck! Um. But overall. Since I can't think of any of the questions that I that, that, that I had before, <clears throat> I have played and beaten both games, Modern Warfare and World of War, and I can honestly say that they're both pretty good. Which one do I think is better? Well, I never, ever, fucking kids, I never, ever, <coughs> probably can't even hear that, <coughs> probably can't even hear that, but, he, but that kid was going, <coughs> fuck you. Alright, anyway. Um, I have played and beaten both games, Modern Warfare and World at War, and I never thought I'd say this, but I think that, I think World at War is better than Modern Warfare. Um, 